Hey, what's up everybody? George here. Today we're going to be unboxing the Park Zone T28D Trojan. I just picked this up at my local hobby shop. I've been waiting to get it for a while. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. This guy's an intermediate flyer. It's going to be a great transition if you're upgrading from a trainer, such as a Super Cub LP. But, advanced pilots, you're going to have fun with this thing too because it does have full aerobatic capabilities and some advanced flying features. This thing comes with a 30 amp outrunner brushless motor. Really, real lot of power there. Um, it comes with a 30 amp ESC. It uses an AR500 receiver, 11.1 um, volt, 1800 milliamp lipo battery, all the things that you want to see in a good airplane. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get to unboxing this bad boy. Hey, what's up everybody? We're back. I've already removed the styrofoam packaging from the box so you didn't have to watch me struggling um, and we can get on with the unboxing. The first thing that you're going to notice is an ominous hole down here. That's where the transmitter would be, but since this is the bind and fly version, it doesn't come with the transmitter. I'll be binding this to my DX6i and flying with that. Um, the very first thing I want to say about it is the amazing job on packaging that they did. As we start unboxing, you're going to see that they put in heat supports, they've really packaged it well. They took a lot of time to make sure that this thing arrived on your doorstep in pristine condition. So let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take out these struts. These are peat struts. Amazing the amount of thought that they put in to making sure that you've got this in excellent condition. There's three struts that are holding everything in place here. I'll go ahead and remove all three of these and we can get on with the unboxing. First thing that we're going to take out of the box is the wing assembly. Uh, you can see that they've taken some extra care to include packaging to make sure that nothing gets dinged up in transport. Um, here's the wing, already has the graphics applied. You'll notice this is a gray. The original uh, T28 came in a white navy theme and uh, this is the T28D. This one comes in a gray Air Force theme. Um, you can see that they have the uh, wires for the servos are ready for you to install. On the bottom half of the wing, servos are both already installed, all the linkages installed, and it actually appears to be pretty trimmed out right out of the box. They also have little plastic supports here where your landing gear will go. This uses a tricycle type landing gear with a um, steerable nose wheel, so this is going to be a little bit different. The next thing we'll take out is the fuselage, and the first thing that I notice is this thing is pretty, pretty large. Uh, compared to the Super Cub LP, uh, it's very, very thick. Um, it does have uh, that 30 amp outrunner brushless motor and a nice cowl with uh, some, uh, some detail in the front. Everything is already installed for us. We can see we have the battery leads coming out here, um, the motors up front, uh, servos are already installed, and you will see that they do have a linkage that does go up to the front, and that's for the steerable nose wheel. Looks like a really nice job on the detail, on the painting. Uh, everything appears to be in very, very good condition. Next out of the box, we have the manual. Um, it appears that they've given me another prop in, in here in case I break a prop. I also purchased a couple extra props just to have on my box just in case. Um, we'll be taking a look at the manual. I strongly suggest that you read through your manual too. Um, they, they generally have pretty decent manuals. Next out of the box, more packaging, but they do have the cowl assembly. Um, typical with uh, their planes, this is a magnetic assembly and uh, it just slips in and clicks down in. Uh, they hold very tight and usually, uh, from what I've seen, they hold up very well. So here we have the cowl assembly. Finally, we have the horizontal stabilizer here. This appears to be in good shape. It's a nice color gray. It already does have the uh, hook up for the uh, elevator linkage and I'm sure that this just slips into the fuselage and it's held in with a couple pieces of tape. Also in the box we have the 
landing gear. Once again, this is a tricycle uh, landing gear, so there'll be a steerable front nose and then two uh, fixed landing gear on the wings. It also looks like they give you a binding plug so that you can bind it up to your transmitter. Next out of the box is the battery charger. Um, this uses a car cigarette lighter 12 volt adapter. Um, it is a three cell charger, variable voltage. Um, pretty nice. If you have a 120 volt adapter, I would suggest using it. Charge them up in the house. That's what I do. Um, they work great. And finally out of the box is the battery. This is an 11.1 volt, 1800 milliamp LiPo. Um, this is going to give it plenty of flight time, plenty of power for uh, those aerobatics once we start flying them. And um, I also bought a spare so I can uh, fly two batteries when I go out at least. And that's pretty much everything that's in the box. Um, we'll be doing another video. The next video is going to be a combined assembly and made in flight. It really doesn't look like there's going to be much to the assembly, so we'll be able to dedicate more time for the made in flight. So listen everybody, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Wait, we'll be taking it right up in the air.